Okay, let's get started once again. Now, situation is I have already received you know, uh, my user ID and password. This is the mail which shows uh, uh, my user ID is PCRH and my password is 54 whatever. So I just copy it and I go to I go to my portal which is ecrh.attendance.gov.in let me show you everything right from uh, you know, login so this is the portal this is the dashboard uh, the nodal officer is supposed to log into the portal so I press this tab login screen appears the user ID is ECRH and the password is just a copy of what I have received sign in so this is the console which appears after the dashboard I think we've been through these uh, these two buttons. We have also uh, uh, see we've got a list of tabs right from manage masters up to logout. A huge list of things that the nodal officer can do. For the time being, we'll be looking at what can be done with the masters because unless the nodal officer populates the master uh, tables, the structure is not going to appear for uh, the employee of uh, employees under the nodal officer to uh, register into the system so the nodal officer has to do it himself or he can get it done by anyone who has the password and the user id but uh, he should know what is to be done the most important thing is office timings uh, this can be different for uh, different uh, organizations for our organization that is east coast railway headquarters finance it is 9.45 to 18.15 hours. We have already uh, uh, entered this uh, detail. In case I require to change it, I can always go to update and uh, I'm sorry. Uh, you can always go to office timings and uh, you know press the mouse left key, the left mouse and you can always change the timing. It's 9.45 to 18.15 in our case. So let's go on to the next master which is important is the office location. Now office location, you can see that there is a button called add office location. It's in green. But if you press upon it, you will get a drop down list of all the office locations. Which means that NIC and Department of Electronics and IT have a um, master list which they have prepared based upon whatever details they have with themselves or based upon our feedback in our case they have something called rail bhavan if you can recall we had we had said that our organization name is east coast railway headquarters finance and the address is rail southern south block second floor Bhuvaneshwar. so we were expecting something like rail southern or maybe east coast railway headquarters office finance to appear over here but or maybe even Bhuvaneshwar would have been okay but uh, since it says Rail Bhavan we will have to stick to it I have written to the help desk to make the relevant changes but I haven't uh, uh, received any reply from their end so uh, let's let's continue with uh, Rail Bhavan so Rail Bhavan uh, is the only choice uh, for the office location and once I have uh, provided I have chosen Rail Bhavan uh, this my master is complete so the office location has been entered the office timings have been entered and remember I am doing this for East Coast Railway Headquarters finance and all the units which will appear under finance so now I got to identify all the units which are under finance and create a structure so that the employees in those units can uh, register themselves so I have to go to units and create all the relevant divisions under FNCO headquarters see I have done it for IT now I want to add some more sections so I press this green button and uh, there is a section called uh, uh, administration administration uh, I think secretariat 
FNCOs, FNCO, FNCOs Secretariat. Let me see if it accepts the apostrophe. So now I submit it. So it checks and it finds that FNCO Secretariat can be added. So you can see the message successfully added the unit. So this is how you keep on adding units inside your organization. And you can also edit the name if you want to at a later date. So if I want to make it FNCO Secretariat, FANCO Secretariat, uh, it's okay. So now <coughs> when the employees under FNCO try to register themselves, I'll show you later how they uh, register this is going to appear as a drop down in the list so i think we've already done office timings we have done office locations we have done divisions now let's go to employee designations here the design is that again designations throughout the central government offices have been identified by nic and department of electronics and it they don't want you to identify a designation or add any designation the only way i see is uh, through the help desk you can tell them that there is uh, a general manager uh, in our office who's the head of the office and uh, which i think does not appear you know we've got a general manager but there's uh, uh, there's a assistant general manager there is uh, there is a senior sdgm senior a deputy uh, general manager which does not appear anywhere in the list of designations uh, there are no engineers if you if you see you can just uh, type e and you will see e n and you will see ki there is nothing uh, i think it searches on the first letter so if you go to e there is nothing like an engineer so the junior engineers, the senior engineers, they, they don't find any place. Fortunately, there is something called others. There is, there is something called others which can be, uh, up, you, you can provide others as a, as a choice in the drop down list. And uh, I think that should serve the purpose. So what I have done is, for IT section, not for IT, for uh, FNCO's office, that is IT, General, F&S, F&B, all the sections, I have identified others beyond section officer and stenographer for my purposes. I can go on adding, suppose I want to add a accounts assistant there is nothing called an accounts assistant but there is something called an accounts officer so let me add that <coughs> to my list of designations so now when the employee wants to register himself these five designations should appear in the drop down list so i think we have done with uh, employee designation office locations device location is left out the only thing left out is device location so let's go to device location you can see that our office location rail bhavan uh, and it center um, is the only device location that has been mentioned but let me add so you can see that the office location in the drop down list you just have rail bhavan with you this is not going to change until the help desk you know either uh, provides one more option which is rail southern otherwise we'll have to stick to rail bhavan um, device location suppose that is steno steno it can be you know system managers system managers or enclosure okay system managers enclosure that is the place where ramana sits he's got a pc so the device is going to be attached to his pc and uh, 
the staff in IT cell are supposed to enter their attendance at this location. Now I submit. You can see that the location of this device has been. So what I have done is I have identified this location as a point where my uh, where my device is going to be installed. I can always deactivate it or I can edit it at a later date. So as a nodal officer I have done my job. I have created uh, whatever is required for the employee to register himself. Now I log out of this portal. Uh, it's a bit slow. Let me use this button. I log out of it. I have logged out of it. Now what I'll do is I'll try to do an employee registration and uh, we'll show you uh, in the next movie I'll show you how an employee registers himself and uh, how he makes himself uh, ready for inputting his attendance. Thank you.